Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I am making these really cute little soy candles. They look like a mini version of my six ounce 10 candles that I sell on my website. They are a screw off lid and they're just a teeny tiny little candle and to me they are so much cuter than regular tea lights although tea lights are cute but i just really like that these have lids to them and they're like a baby mini candle and i'm going to be giving these away in orders to kind of promote my fall collection within like the next week or so so i'm going to be making these candles and i thought that it would be fun if i showed you how i did it so the first thing that I needed to do was figure out the fill weight of these little mini candle tins. Now these are actually one ounce tins, but that does not necessarily mean that it's gonna hold an ounce of wax. So I have my scale right here. I'm just going to put the little candle tin on there and then I'm going to tear it. I do everything in grams, but feel free to do it in ounces if you feel more comfortable with that. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour some water into here to kind of figure out how much wax I need. Now, there is a little bit of math involved in this. This is something that I actually um, more recently started doing. I know in my previous math videos, I did say that you have to use wax, and that technically is true if you are wanting to just use that number, but it is much easier as I have learned to just use water and then do a simple math equation to kind of figure it out. So what I did was just kind of pour some water in here and I found that getting it to that first little line right there was about 25 grams. So in order to figure out how much wax is gonna be able to fit in there, we're just gonna do a simple equation. All I'm gonna be doing is just doing 25 grams times 86%, and that gives me 21.5 grams of wax weight can fill in there, and then I'm just gonna round it up to 22 grams. And then just to give you an example, after I did that, I filled up one of these little tins just with the wax to see if it actually filled up to the level that I wanted it to, and it definitely did. All right, now there is some quick math involved. If you haven't already seen my candle math video, I will have it linked above so that this will make a little bit more sense. But essentially, if it's for one candle, it's 22 grams for the fill weight, I wanna do 10% fragrance oil. So my equation is gonna be 22 divided by 110%, and that equals 20 grams. All I'm gonna do is just subtract the fill weight by the wax weight to figure out the fragrance oil weight. So for each of these little candles, I'm gonna use two grams of fragrance oil with 20 grams of wax, and I wanna make 10 of them at the same time. So I'm gonna multiply those by 10. Super easy equation, just putting a zero at the end. So I'm going to be working with 20 grams of fragrance oil and then 200 grams of wax to make 10 of these little candles. Now I'm going to wick all of these tens and I'm just gonna use one CDN size two wick. Um, I do realize that there are such things as wicks made for tea lights that are really, really short. Um, however, this is all I have for right now. And what I'm gonna be doing is just taking the extra clippings and then make more candle wicks out of it for the tea light size because I do have just these individual clips to be able to do that. So all I'm gonna do, super easy, is just take this off, put this right here as centered as I possibly can. And then I'm actually going to take some wick trimmers trim that and then I am going to take this device because I'm not gonna lie I actually already tried to film this and for some reason after I poured all of the candles as soon as I tried to move the wicks to be straighter all of them came loose so I don't know if it has to do with the coating on these that made it a little bit looser but literally like I'm trying to move this and it's not coming off at all. Um, I also don't know if it was from the heat, but I've never had any issues like that before. So I'm going to essentially just push this down as much as I can. Maybe when I, when I did those, I really didn't push it down that much. So I'm just gonna go through and wick all of these and really push them down and hopefully there's no issues. 
Now I'm just going to measure out the 20 grams of fragrance oil and I'm gonna be making some pumpkin spice mini candles. So I'm going to measure out 20, that was way too much. So pour a little bit back in there. There we go. So in terms of the pouring device that I use, these are such tiny little candles, so they can be a little bit of a challenge to pour. So I am going to use a regular pouring pitcher to pour in the wax, pour in the fragrance oil, and mix it up. But I'm actually going to be using a pistol funnel or confectioner funnel, whatever it's called, um, to be able to actually pour it. And it's gonna be so much easier to control. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually heat up both of these with a heat gun. All right, so heating this up, or not heating it up, but filling it up to 200. go. Putting in the 20 grams of fragrance oil and then taking my little stir stick and stirring it up. Now I'm just going to take this and pour it right into the funnel. And then we're going to pour some candles. So I'm just going to hover over it and then fill it up just until that first little line right there. Okay, so, so far so good. I'm actually touching the wick and the bottom metal piece is not moving. That was not the case with my last batch. It was terrible. Quick interruption at this part of the video. I did wanna let you all know that I am now using the Red RTV uh, glue on these little tens because after filming this video the next batch I made the wicks were starting to come loose so I don't know what that's all about maybe there's like the coating on these tens it doesn't really work well with the wick stickers so I am going to be using this from now on to make sure that the wicks are not going to move so now I'm just going to go through fill all of these up and it makes it really quick and easy I'm not Bending over, I'm not hurting my back. This little device makes it so easy. And I'm sure most of the questions is gonna be, you know, is it easy to clean? And I just use a heat gun. I just use a heat gun. And if I'm going from two extremely different scents, I'll use just a paper towel with one of the skewer sticks. And I'll just kind of do my best to wipe it and it's really not that bad. Well worth it. And I'm just gonna go in, try to straighten out the wicks as much as I can. I may have to wait until they solidify. I think if I remember correctly, that's what I used to do when I would make tea lights. And now that I'm looking at it, this candle right over here has a very, very short wick. So all the wicks that are really short I think that that's how I have to do it because then there's not as much kind of weight, quote unquote, to the wick. So I think that that's how I'm gonna do it from now on is just make sure that I trim the wick down almost to the length that it's gonna be as a candle. And there you have it. This is how I make my cute little mini candles. I'm so excited to give these away as samples in all of my customers' orders for this month to prepare and get people excited for the fall collection. If you have any other questions or if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Erica Marie Morris, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.